Hello guys, today I'm back with another video and I decided to share with you guys my trash. <laughs> like the title says, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my empties and what I've been collecting for the past uh, few weeks, maybe a um, month, if anything. But I'm getting ready to just throw it all out because it's just in my room, just another pile of mess. So why not just get it over with, right? I'll show you guys my empties and share a little bit of what I think about them if I would repurchase them or not so yeah on to my empties we get started i quickly want to mention that it is it, it does look a little dark but um i use natural light and it's a little gloomy outside so probably that's why it's a little dark but uh but yeah on to my empties and i have them in a target bag because i mean this is a lot a lot of trash i've been piling up on my the corner of my room and i don't know if i mentioned this already but i'm gonna be telling you guys uh if i repurchase if i will repurchase them that's a lot of noise if i will repurchase them or what i think about the products after i use them all if i finished everything or yeah so my thoughts and anything like that so now this time for us let's get started first i want to start with this shampoo and conditioner i, I go back and forth with shampoo and conditioner so i'm always trying to find a better one but i'm gonna show you guys one that i always end up going back to but this is from uh, the tresemme and this is from the nourishing moisture shampoo i guess that's a line with aloe vera and avocado and this is the shampoo and the conditioner i find that i always run out of shampoo first before conditioner like i could use two bottles of shampoo with one bottle of conditioner but this time they're we're empty at the same time but i mean it will i mean it cl like it cleaned my hair but i don't think i will re be repurchasing them like i didn't see any any extra like moisture or any wow this is amazing shampoo is just shampoo so this is uh my bioderma i mentioned this in my uh skincare routine but uh, this is not empty yet. Like, I have a lot to go. But not a lot, but, you know, just a tiny bit on the bottom. But I want to mention it because, I mean, I don't want to collect trash. And it is not a lot. So by the time I finish it, I'll be collecting this for, like, another few months before I collect enough trash to share with you guys. Is it bad that I'm calling it trash? Empty? Empty sounds better, right? So so I collect all my empty. So I might as well just mention it right here. So by a German, This is definitely something that I most likely will be repurchasing like i have a a few of them to go like my granier that i mentioned already and i have another two or another one of this biodermas but this is i i definitely love this i uh, makeup remover and i use it for all over my face not like makeup remover am i sounding too like repetitive sorry sorry about that this is the uh bath and body works the marshmallow pumpkin latte with shea and vitamin e shower gel and this is what that looked like this is from the i just ran out of this one from the uh, uh um like the fall i got this probably back in maybe october sept late september when they uh brought up the collection for fall and i i this is my second one of this one i think the other one it's i just threw it away but this i love i got i have like six more of this one little four maybe four or five i could literally be smelling like fall all summer long and all through next fall with this product so i got so many of them why do i feel like this thing is moving okay whatever <laughs> so moving on i'm gonna mention this three at the same time because they're like masks the mud masks thing glam, glam glow stuff Okay, so this one I did not finish. This, this one came with this one, like a package, like a bundle. This one, I used it a couple of times, but it, you know, like the burning sensation. This one was too much. I couldn't take it. And I left it there to sit for a while. And so I was like, I don't think it's good anymore. So I don't want to risk it. So I probably won't be repurchasing this one at all. I mean, it might work for other people, but for me, it's just like, it just burned. That's it. And now the white one, I can't open this. Why can't I open this? I think I did finish this one, but I have, poof, it's like dry. Duh. I have this thing that I was like, oh, it doesn't work. Like I don't see any results. But what I come to realize that if I don't use it regularly, like I'm 
supposed to it's not gonna work in the pot but i did use it you know i finished it you know like it took me a while to finish it but this one i probably will go try again but i would use it this time regularly so i know if it's giving me a result or if it's not so this one is a maybe i'll repurchase it now this one on the other hand i mentioned i think again on my skincare routine this is gone like gone and i already have another one i'm already using that one other one this is just amazing my i mentioned again i have really dry skin and this one is just my savior like literally just apply this sometimes in place of my moisturizer and this does the job perfectly so yeah next product dry shampoo my dry shampoo this is the bottle i I think I mentioned this one again in my favorites and I told you guys that it was empty and I did go back and get the full size and this is the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo this one I definitely like it and I already have it like I said it already now I finished my cleanser things my first day beauty dip cleanser skin rescue with red clay and the facial radiance polish and of course I'm already they're already in my shower already I'm already using another one and it's probably about to run out too, but yeah. This one's again and my skincare routine. I mentioned this one. So if you guys wanna check that out. This, 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 this. The this is this was the fresh lotus youth preserve eye cream. This is what that looks like. Again, I don't know, can you guys see it? By fresh. And I like the smell of it. And I feel like it was really fresh. I feel like it smells more like cucumberish. Cucumber? Which I totes love, but I mean, I finished it. I mean, it was expensive, but I found that, uh, um, I can't think of the word. I can't think of the word. I, I would apply it, and then throughout the day, I feel like flakiness. I was like, wait, or maybe not throughout the day, but almost right after it dried, I feel like, you know, going in with concealer, it was kind of flaky, kind of funky looking. So I was like, mm, yeah, I wouldn't be repurchasing to this one at all. I love the scent of it. it smell very fresh like cucumber but like the flakiness kind of thing threw me off so no so now um this is the algenist sublime defense anti-aging blurring moisture spf 30 and this is what that looks like it's like a big old pot and this was soup soup soups expensive like expensive. the thing that i didn't fuck <laughs> the thing that i didn't even finish it like i have a ton of it left like look at that but the, i don't know like you see it breaks apart like i got a sample of it um and i fell in love with it maybe because it was so tiny and it was just like i loved it so like i have to buy the big size so i went and i was like using it and then mm, it wasn't working for me like i feel like it doesn't smell bad at all but i feel like it was so thick that it wouldn't sink into my 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 skin like it, it would just lay there you know like it was it kind of felt like silicone kind of like sitting on my face so and it sucks because it was expensive but um i wouldn't be repurchasing this one and that's that's that it sucks i didn't finish this but so now my um fix plus just yeah still comes out it's essential like i have to have fix plus i usually all the time i should do like let me guys let me know if you guys want to see my uh everyday makeup routine or my foundation routine for that matter but i use this all the time like i have to have fix plus i like i literally just get my brush spritz it on the thing then go on my face half and then spritz it again and then spritz it or spray and the other half i i feel like if it doesn't if i don't do that my foundation is gonna be too thick and i don't know why and i'm not afraid of the cake face like i'm not but I don't know, I feel like it applies better. It, like, goes so smooth. I don't know. No, am I doing this? But, yeah. Another product that I finished from MAC, it is this, um, the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Medium Golden. Ow. And I feel like I have, like, just, like, this part left right here, but I can't seem to make this work which is so weird but i do definitely love this one like i'll be repurchasing this one again as soon as i'm done with the one i'm using right now which is the nars something something powder i think i like this one better the other one is a little bit too cakey too see i don't want to keep saying cakey because i don't mind the cake face but i feel like it's a little too thick and this one is just more natural so yeah i'll probably go back to the mac after i finish the other one and I think this is my um 
What? Fresh picked pocket pack. They changed the packaging on this uh, hand sanitizer from Beth Bad and Beyond. Beth Bad and Beyond? What? Did I say that on the other product? What? Beth Bad and Body Works. What am I even thinking? I always get those too confused. Don't mind me. This is the crisp apple and I love this scent. Like, I have no idea why I didn't get... If you could only smell it. This was, again, for the fall. So, if they bring this one back, I'm buying, like, a whole bunch of this. Because it doesn't smell this forever. Like, there's a little bit left, but I can't get that out. And it's so frustrating. Like, I had it sitting, like, th like you know, for the thing to run down and it just won't come out. So, what am I to do there? But, yeah, this, I definitely love this scent. I oh. find, these are the... Con shampoo and conditioner that i always find myself going back to like i said i finished the tresemme i went back to this one no matter what shampoo i use i always end up going back to this one i do not know why and this is the suave uh professionals almond and chia chia or chia chia butter shampoo with 100 percent natural almond chia butter moisturizing for dry damaged hair and the conditioner again this is gone and this is half gone so gonna buy another one of this i don't know the conditioner but i always find myself going back to this one like i actually noticed like my hair is a little softer or smoother and a lot more moisturized than with anything anything else like i know there are some super expensive shampoos but it's like no like i use shampoo very 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 frequently so that's expensive to buy but uh, i definitely want to check out i know they have i've been looking into buying um biotin infused shampoo and i know swap has the um has aligned with that one so i might try that next but uh yeah so these are pretty much gone this is empty this might last a little longer and, and this is it for my uh my empties and yeah hope this was helpful if anything you know my little quick review but uh yeah so then again let me know if you have used anything that i've mentioned if you like it or not and if you guys want to see my um foundation routine um uh, let me know in the comments section down below or like give the video a thumbs up and i'll know to do that so thank you so much for watching you guys and don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and you know to see any videos that i come up with next and i'll see you guys in the next one bye